Hello. Hello. We are here to play Ace Attorney. <laughs> um, nobody's here yet, so I'm just going to assume that it's fine. Um, mm -hmm. I can't listen to it, like... It's like... Uh... Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I don't know, the, 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 the sound sounds fine. Okay. Um... I don't know if anybody's gonna show up or not, but it'll be what oh it is what it I is. I just realized you made me so <laughs> short! Next yeah. to your model! <laughs> You are okay. Look, like actually, you are actually like this short compared to me. Let's be real, okay? I think, like, put me shorter, honestly. I don't think I don't think I'm that short in real life. Like, <laughs> like you can rest on my shoulders pretty comfortably. Yeah, I can. Uh, actually, I think um, I, I think if I remember right, my like I come, I I like am a little bit. Like, I can put my chin on your head, but it's like <laughs> I have to tilt it up just a little bit. So you're just actually like right bit. here. <laughs> Wait, I'm seeing it on like, the stream. Yes. <laughs> I'm like almost gone. Yeah. Here, me, I'll, I'll make you a little. There we go. There you go. That's you. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> I think one of these days I'll just like make myself a penguin for like cold. Make myself like a penguin icon for cola. Please do. I love <laughs> cute little uh boogies. I'll do my best. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. What was I gonna say? <laughs> We're playing Ace Attorney. We're about to become the best attorneys. We are. I am hoping that the, uh, right now the back the background music is so distracting. <laughs> like in the good way, right? Huh? Like in the good way, right? I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, maybe I need to be a little farther away from my mic. It seems like I'm, pe I'm peeking a little bit. Or maybe I need okay. to bring down the volume just a tad. There we go. Um. There we go. All right. For episode one. The first turnabout. Oh boy. Play this game. Yes. Achievement unlocked. First steps. Oh, that's ominous. <gasps> Only a little bit. Oh boy. Damn it! Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. I, I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Boy, am I nervous. Right. Oh, hiya, Chief. Actually, do you, who, do you want to voice... Who, who do you want to voice? I don't know like any of the characters in this, to be honest. Oh, I was gonna ask, do you want me to voice anybody? Like, yeah. in particular? Um... Uh... Anybody is fine. I don't know the characters. I don't know who's in here. He was like the best, but I don't think I could match your vibe. I guess I have to be Phoenix because I'm playing the game. But oh, that's true. Okay, I'll, I'll be me. I'll be Mia. You want to be Mia? Um, okay. Yeah, and then just let me know if there's anybody else you want me to. Take over. Anybody you want to do, anybody you want, because uh, again, I have not played this game, so I don't know even know who the characters are. This is gonna be so exciting! Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Phew, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you, and your client as well. Um, thanks. <laughs> Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? 
You mean, you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. Oh, he's just like me, he says actually in every single sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I say it a lot. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. Aww. It's over! It's over! Oh, sorry! <laughs> my life, everything, it's all over! I don't know who that is, so I'm just making up a voice. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. <laughs> Despair! Oh! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. Um, yeah... <laughs> hey! Hey, hey there, Larry! Dude, I'm so guilty! Tell them I'm guilty! Give me the death sentence! I ain't afraid to die! <laughs> what? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over! I... I'm finished! Finished! I can't live in a world without her! I can't! But. Who? Who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Aw, uh, Nick, you gotta tell me! Who took my baby away? Hmm... The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? <laughs> the newspapers say it was you! <laughs> no. Oh, oh no, my. he's an idiot! <laughs> my name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap, unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. Oh, no, no, my Larry. best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> it's... Uh, in the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. Look One... at that face! Can you blame him? <laughs> One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. <laughs> uh, I know better than anyone that he's a real good guy at heart. That, and I owe him one. Which is why I took the, cl the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do! Oh, butts. Oh, butts. <laughs> August 3rd, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number two. <laughs> Here, you be the judge. You want me to read yes, judge? please be the judge. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of reading. I feel bad. <clears throat> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. <laughs> you also want me to read the uh, pain? Uh, I don't care. Okay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Wright. This is your first trial, is it not? Y yes Your Honor. I'm, um, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank- thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Readiness? Yes, Your Honor. Ooh. Hands shaking. Eyesight. Fading. Oh no, mood! The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Oh. <laughs> the defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Mm. Correct. Correct. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. Very good. Just keep it what's about you and you'll do fine. I see some, some words on the screen and I read them out. I know, right? Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... wait. Uh-oh! Dude. No. No way! I forgot! I'm drawing a total blank here! Phoenix! Are you absolutely sure you're up to this? 
You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim- uh, Of course I know the victim's name! I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. I don't press, uh... Honestly, I don't- I, Oh, her name's Cindy. Cindy. The victim in this case, a model, she lived in an apartment by herself. Prosecutor lacks presence. Generally <laughs> bad at getting his points across. Oh no. No one be will believe I was at a defense attorney <laughs> if I didn't carry this. Damn. It's a neat badge though. Yes. It says tab, but actually I'm just using the- I'm just clicking. Yeah. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Cinderblock. <laughs> Cindy Stone. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Mm -hmm. Correct. Now, tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was... I know that one. She was struck once by a blunt object. Mm -hmm. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Cause I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Oh, no. Well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, which one of these guys do you want me to do? Do you want me to do? Because I feel like bad because I'm only doing Phoenix. Do uh, I do Mia? Since do it's all on the same side. Uh, I'll wait one more time. I'm sorry. Do you want me to do Mia, or do you want me to do somebody else? Uh, uh, I can do pain. You can do pain. I can do pain. Yeah. Okay. And we're argu we're arguing against each other. Oh, okay. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. Your Honor. As Mr. Rick just told us, the victim was struck with was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the Thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into the evidence. Statue added to the court record. Rather heavy. Rather heavy. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition we have in court. You used to have to check the court record frequently. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? One second. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want- Excuse me. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Oh no. Ahem. <laughs> Mr. Butts, is it tr not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Oof. Hey, watch it, buddy! We were great together! We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony! Um, who knows um, I didn't die? Didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me, ever. What's it to you anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. Oof. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. Oof. What do you mean, one of them? Lies! All of them! Lies! I don't believe a word of it! Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Hmm. 
Miss you. Miss you. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Indeed. She appears to have, been, to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way! The victim was a model, but did not have large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Oh. Daddies? Sugar? Oh, Larry. Yes. Older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman this stone was. This Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Oh no, Larry. Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah. Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? What do you think I should do? Um... Do you want me to tell you if it's going to affect anything? Does it affect anything? For this instance, it doesn't. You can just see, you can just see like, how he reacts or not. Sure, I'll see what happens. Yeah. Might be better not to get involved in this one. Oh no, Phoenix! <laughs> well, Mr. Butts... Dude, no way! That cheating she-dog! I'm gonna die! I'm just gonna drop dead! Yeah, when I meet her in the afterlife... I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accurse, the accused motive is clear to everyone. He is kind of cursed, though. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. <laughs> Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Ooh. Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh, no. Uh-oh. He went. Oh. What do I do? <laughs> I'm believing you. I think in this- and I think in this case, um, It's Larry. He's still gonna answer either way. He's pretty stupid, but... Oh, no! <laughs> like a dog! <laughs> Um, well, see, it's like this. I don't remember. Oh, Larry. You don't remember. Well, then, we'll just have to remind you. I got a bad feeling about this. We have a witness that can prove he did go to the victim's par apartment that day. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Order! Order in the court! Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Sollett. Frank's into the sand. Frank saw it. Frank saw it. Oh, oh, oh he okay. saw it. <laughs> Mr. Saw it. You sell newspaper and new subscriptions, is this correct? Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Newspapers, yes. Mr. Saw it. You may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. What is a cow? Oh. Him. I was going door to door, selling dis subscriptions when I saw a man in an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought I'd call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Mm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I 
can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawitz used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Blackout record. Okay, is that from noon to 6 p.m.? Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, er, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross examination. Cross examination, Your Honor? Alright, right? This is it. The real deal! Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, well, you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave! Lies? What? He was lying? Oh, Phoenix. Your client is innocent, right? And that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? Phoenix, please! You hold the key! It's in the evidence! Comparing the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face! <laughs> um, okay. Open the court right. record with tab, and then point out contradictions in the testimony. E. Alright. Cross-examination. Alright. I believe in you. Okay, when did she die? What? Oh, she died? Oh. They aren't, are they? <laughs> oh, no. it's, it's based on... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I lost the health. Okay. Okay, so I know what, what it was. Who oh, wait. Yeah. Wait, I want to see something. Okay. What else is there? Okay. So yeah, okay. it is... Where is it? The, the time that he called. There we go. This is what I wanted. Yeah. You found the body at 1 p.m., you're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at sometime after 4 p.m. There is nobody to... er... Uh, no body to find at 1 p.m. Okay, How do you explain this three hour gap? Oh, Dad! Oh, uh. <laughs> That was not what I was expecting that sound to be. <laughs> <laughs> this is trivial! The witness merely forgot the time! Mm -mm. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Solid. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I... er... Uh, well, I... Gee, that's a really good question! Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot! That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Wait! I remember now! Would you care to give your testimony again? The time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Hmm. You see, you heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right! You know what to do! 
I got this one. Look at him shake his shoulders. No, but the light- the- the-, the hold on. There is a voice pro saying the time is probably coming from the television. Can I do it here? Um... If you know. Yeah! Hold it, right there! The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. <clears throat> you couldn't have heard a television or a video. Yeah! I- well... <laughs> the defense has a point. Do you have an exclamation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I... I find that quite puzzling myself. Wait! Ah! But wait! I remember now! Mr. Sawit? The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. Uh. <laughs> These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That's- and you seem rather... distraught. But my apologies, Your Honor. It- er, m it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Salt. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon! The killer used it to hit the victim! Can I just object now? <laughs> 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 like, seriously, can I just object now? <laughs> no, Man. Playing. That must have been what I saw. You saw a clock? I guess I would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. All right, where is it? <clears throat> I saw it. Oh, uh, well, that's not the murder weapon. This is the murder weapon. Oh ho! Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? What? You, you with your objections and your. Evidence! Just who do you think you are? An attorney? <laughs> <laughs> Just answer the question, Mr. Solid. Hey, I... I saw it there, okay? It's a clock! Your Honor, if I may... Yes, Mr. Payne? As the witness stated, the statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Ooh. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright? It appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes. Your Honor, Absolutely. There, there's a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. <clears throat> the only way he would have known the weapon was a clock to still have hold it in his hand. Yet, the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. <clears throat> hmm. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... <gasps> um... Can I say that he knew the victim? Um, but why, how would he know the victim? I don't- I don't- that's the only thing is that, like, I don't have any evidence. Because he went into the apartment. Okay, well, we'll just go with that way. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh, yeah? Prove it! Prove I went in there! That is too pay flowing. I'll do better than that. I can prove you're the one who killed her. Oh. You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court! Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Solid, 
The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. <laughs> but, uh, what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with a clock? I... I... A day! Never! Look, I... The clock! I heard! No, I mean, I... Saw! Saw! <laughs> what? Oh, no. oh, wig. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I hate you! It was him, I tell you! I saw him! He killed her and he should burn! Burn! Give him death! Oh my god, his hair. Yeah. His toupee! Jeez. Order! Order in the court, I say! Your Honor, a, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright! Your Honor? You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this, I better think of it through carefully. I Your Honor, the sound which you saw what heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Huh? Um, I'm just thinking. Does it have bat- does it have batteries? Ask the neighbors. No. Try sending the me. clock. <laughs> Let's go under the assumption that as soon as, like, they found the victim, they took everything in, and they haven't changed anything since- since then. I see. Uh... Would it be the batteries, or the, like, sounding the clock? I don't think that- like, cause... I don't know what the battery whether the batteries would do anything. We wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't know where the batteries would be, huh? Yeah. Let's sound the clock now here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. I think it's eight twenty-five. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. <laughs> Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It, it, it's 11.25. <laughs> ah! Ooh. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. Ha! <laughs> you forgot one thing! Uh-oh. What's he talking about now? Well, it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow. <laughs> it proves nothing! How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case! <laughs> He's right! How am I going to prove that? Damn it! I was so close. Mr. Wright? It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. He lacks critical information. No! Yes, Your Honor. No! This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Kitty! Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him. I can't. Okay. Unfortunately. This sends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Solid. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens! You treat me like a criminal! A criminal! You lawyers are almost slime! Ah, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. Bye, Larry. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Solid! Mia, I mean, Chief! Listen up, right? 
Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Uh, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you still can't win. Try thinking outside of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Soon the clock is three hours slow and... Think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. <laughs> Sorry. Right, right? Oh, I don't know how to make that work. Uh, can you think of a reason as to why the clock would, would be three hours slow? Oh... I believe in you. I don't know how helpful you want me to be. But I believe in you. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I will say yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, that's true, that's fair. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have the evidence somewhere to, that can prove it, mate. Okay. Think about it, think about it. Well, it wasn't plugged in, right? Because it still no. so it makes noise. Yeah. So it's not about the blackout. It's it's not because she was in Paris, was it? Because that doesn't make any sense. Because wait, where are they? Uh, they're in Japanifornia. Japanifornia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the di what's the time difference between Japanifornia and Paris? That's a good question. <laughs> I I believe it's about. Wait, hold on. I'm really bad with the time zones. I think it's about seven hours. Wait, I can't remember. I, I think I think Japan. Sorry, Japanifornia slash California is okay. We're either seven seven or six hours slow or behind or ahead. Let me find, let me look it up. Of Paris. Uh, Paris um, yeah. I think Paris. Paris is the same as London, right? So, uh, it's is it oh wait, five no. hours? Oh, it's nine. Paris is nine hours ahead. Oh, nine hours ahead of you. Yeah. Okay, so it's six hours ahead of me. I don't know. Uh. Think about it. Um... All right. I never let him have it. That's the right. So the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. We've got evidence to support this claim. Oh wait, that was you. Oh well, of course. Now you're good. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Words. Let's see you pull this one off. Uh, well, okay, I'm gonna... Think about the time zones. Think about the time zones. I'm gonna guess that it's this, this evidence, just because we haven't used it yet. <laughs> <laughs> The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. Okay. Yay! When it's 4 p.m. here, it's... Oh, okay. 1 a.m. the next day there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. Why would you take that with you? <laughs> That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. The pr proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit? Or did I, I sh should I say, <laughs> Mr. Did It? <laughs> oh my god, he's just, he just starts foaming at the mouth. <laughs> Literally! Ew. Order! Order, I say! Well... This case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, 
your witness? He, er, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone completely def uh, complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time! Oops. I, <laughs> I didn't notice where my cursor was. Yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only formality, but... This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts! Not guilty! Yay! <laughs> Yay, confetti! Oh my god, there really is confetti! Was this allowed in the courtroom? And with that, this court is adjourned. I also- I- I thought Mia was gonna talk more, that's why I had you talk, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He yes. posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day... When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawa let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawa grabbed the nearest blunt object she could find. No. Oh. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. <laughs> I still can't believe we won. Right! Good job in there! Congratulations! Congra yeah, congratulations! Oh so, my god. Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen the trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. Aww. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. Because My life is over! Larry, you're supposed to be happy! What's wrong now? Oh, Nick! Don't worry about me! I'll be dead and gone soon! Oh my god, Larry! Larry wait, no, I mean, bad! Bad, bad, bad! Larry! Larry, you're innocent! The case is closed! <laughs> but, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man! Gone forever! Cindy Wendy! Larry, she was a. Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry! <laughs> Harry? <laughs> yes, you! I can practically see the headlines now. Harry- <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. <Sorry>. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Harry Butts! <laughs> <It's, it's, it's... laughs> <laughs> um, thanks! I really owe you one! I won't forget this ever! Let's celebrate! Dinner? Movie? My treat! Oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey! Here, take this! It's a present! A present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. Aww. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you just want to cry? <laughs> Larry. Are you so sure? Excuse me? What? <laughs> I think she thought quite a lot of you. In her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing. Really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? Oh, uh, you know, to explain this one? Uh... Password. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. As I mentioned, she took it with her to Paris. 
Right, 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 right. Yeah. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. It is. It is. <laughs> well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. I thanks. So sweaty. <laughs> Hope that made him feel a little better. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is just believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me? We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Oh, speaking of Harry, not Larry? You were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah, part at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? Oh. <coughs> and so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. Oh, but I'm Larry. pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave Mia. Oh, Larry. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry... Would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. The end. The end. Yay. Turn about sisters. Yay. Let me guess, she dies. Well. Yes, please save my progress. Well. It'd be really funny if Phoenix died. <laughs> oh, they have own. Um, want me to do it? I'm so sorry. Wait, did you say I'm sorry? You want me to do it? Yeah, go ahead. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. Where have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a theater a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. I think you might like it. You always like toys. Hey! Like toy. I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Yeah, no. You know I'm only teasing. I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. Aww. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be at a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Burgers. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. All right, it's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting. Yeah. 
This is weird, because you're the older one. Hmm? This is weird, you're the older one. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> One month later, September 5th, 8.57 p.m., Faye and Company Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Oh, you are not going to... Hugniferous of my background? Oh no. Gathering information is in my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Ho oh, ho. My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. <laughs> She was too cool to live. She was too cool to live, you're right. Red, Red white. white blue. She was too powerful, that's why she had to go, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Number fifth, 9 of 8 p.m. Faye and Company Law Offices. Uh oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Oh. Uh. No! Why do I not do anything? Oh, you can move. You can move. There you go. Mm hmm. Okay. That smell. Blood! this someone's there oh. chief 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 do you want me to read over her part since me is dead <laughs> you can if you want oh. to yeah i'm sorry yeah who okay, are okay. you oh shoot you just pass out? Yeah. Strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the so office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Mm. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Mm. Chief... Crushed with dried blood. How ironic oh. that this became the murder weapon again. Oops. Um. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but there are any clues here. She struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker added to the court record. Hmm. Oh, there's some like glass shards in this. Chief body. Must be pieces of the glass lying. Of the glass light stand lying broken on the back of the room. Glass shards. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper. Must have fallen from Mia's hand. <laughs> what could it be? A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya? Did Maya write this? Or did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. Oh, what does slide mean? Oh. You just move around the room, basically. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't get anything. No clues here. Um, when it's highlighted yellow, that means there's something to look for. Oh, the... the... Yeah, the magnifying glass. Oh, okay. There you go. Perfectly normal office desk. You've had a very particular policy of office decor. Spend big on stuff clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. All the chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. <coughs> that 
girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye? Maya? So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Before my Mia died, she wrote a message of her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. <laughs> That's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why, Why would this write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. I better hurry up and call the police. Mm. Uh, what happened? Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. And sis. Sis! So she was already dead. Aww. So you're the chief's... Sister. I'm your younger sister. And you were here visiting? This late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It was that clock. It was the thinker. And then you could also show them stuff, yeah. Okay, I'll go back and present. I wish I could just like double click and that would be count as presenting. Yeah. Um, about the thinker. The thinker. I was a little sick. Hmm, probably shouldn't have asked her about the murder weapon. Oh no. Oh well. <laughs> oh. I don't think I got anything else. Uh... Is there a phone or something? The door to the chief's office is slightly open. I better not touch the doorknob. Uh, I think there's a phone inside the office. This sofa, sofa is for clients. It's leather. A real luxury model. Oh, fancy. The reception desk. I usually sit here. Oh, I see. You couldn't cram more illegal books in here if you want to. You can gaze <laughs> on the shelves without feeling insignificant. Alright, oh. let's all move. Right, I'd better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws in the receiver are missing. No! Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please, come quick! Wh what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? Oh boy. Well, She's staring right at me! She's holding a phone in her hand! Oh no! Oh boy. Oh no! Oh, and receiver is missing a few screws. I better not use it. Uh. And then. I don't know if there's anything. You might have to keep examining stuff until. There you go. <laughs> oh no! Wee 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 wee! The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, police! Oh no. <gasps> Oh, I've heard that this is the best character. I love Gumshoe! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. Phoenix, I won't hear that from you. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya. Wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! <laughs> oh, wait. That's okay. This word Maya here mean anything to you? Oh. 
That's mine. Oh. What? <laughs> The victim crew this here, her, note in her own blood, see? Oh, well, With shoot. her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Oh, wrong well, shoe. Killer? I'm not- Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am! What? what Oh, come shoe. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for hours for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th, 9.07 a.m. Well, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Mm. Oh. oh! Oh, that's you. It's you! The lawyer! Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um... Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Uh... Sorry, not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> so mean! <laughs> you can choose whatever you want, don't worry. Um... It's up to you. I better give it to her straight. It's up to you. To me? Yes. I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never going to believe me, are they? Even you, even when when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I'd done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Thanks for the follow. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Well, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on head to the whole time. It's been a while. <laughs> so, he crashed and burned? He's a genius. Are you sure he's a genius? <laughs> One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him eight, give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. That's so mean! Damn! <laughs> we, yeah, we, we helped Larry Butts. We did, we did, we did help him. Yeah. That's what she said. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But, at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. Can I just- can I show her this now? I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. Poor sis. Hmm, better not ask her about this now. Okay, I guess I just can't do that. You can, you can talk to her some more. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I just can't present anything to her. Yeah. Something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? <laughs> oh, this? This is what all- This is what all Alkalites wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, Alkalites? Like, people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Yeah, that's rude. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. 
How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said about that. I remember. Do you want to hear about hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. <laughs> That's so useful. Yeah. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remembered that the detective took my cell phone. Aww. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. All right, you look it, okay? Sure, thanks. Aww. So you're an acolyte. Uh, medium in training. That's right. The Fae family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fae family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course! She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too! Excuse me? <laughs> I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So you're a real honest to goodness spirit medium? With ESP and all that? Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact me a spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Phoenix, pay attention! She keeps mm, saying in training. I know, right? I thought, that, I thought that would be too easy. Please, listen! <laughs> um... Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, can I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said I was never left. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Ah, uh, sure. That would be so mean if you said no. I know, right? <laughs> no, I want to be your. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much! If no one else to turn to. Excuse me, I offered! <laughs> hey, in her defense, she did say that Mia told her, th gave it three years. Say, what about your parents? Mm. I... I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow, at ten. W what Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I pick one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 o'clock this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Can you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. Kind of gotten used to it. Oh. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for upcoming trial. Oh, is this oh, the same? Yeah, this oh, is the I same think... thing. Yeah, I don't think. Right, I... Oh, anything. here we go. Here's more. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it was around nine o'clock. Oh, what? oh, the lights were off, and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Can I show her the thing now? I don't think anything would- I think that's just what- I think that just changed the, uh, the, the crime thing. Or did you want to show her something else? Nope. Yeah, it just updated the, uh, dialogue. Alright. Yeah. Um, and now we move. Grossberg! I, this already gives me bad vibes. The or the name. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. 
Table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that letter is made of solid gold. Even Ooh. I can tell someone here has got money to burn. Fancy. Solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to deep luster. Jesus. My painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffy nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe it's one of those, like, fake books that people put on sometimes. Plant. Expensive plot of plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, probably the most expensive one available. Uh, December 6th, big company office. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry. Don't don't I know you for somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No! No, no, no. Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Well... Ah, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Oh. Um, oh. right, and you oh, were... Sure. I'll be nice and say the right name. Uh, uh -huh. Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Uh, yes, sir. Be right there. Uh -huh. Um... <laughs> You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. Phew. He thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. I'm about Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you go looking at me uh, like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Aw, uh, come shoot. Death was instantaneous. Mm hmm. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. W why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor e Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth? That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Mm hmm. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course not. Never heard of him. Whoa, and you call yourself a lawyer, pal? About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. He's a cold, heartless machine who, uh, who will do anything to get a guilty verdict. There are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Oh, wait, Akari, did you look at the chat? Huh? Oh! Give her the thinker and make her think about what she's- That's so That's mean. so mean! We can't do that! We can't do that, Kaji! No! <laughs> I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Where can I put this so that I can see? I have like a really weird setup right now. Hold on. Let me put this here. Let me put this here. Put this here. This will work, yes. You think he could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Chicky lawyer! Uh oh. He's on to me. Uh, he seems like he likes to be telling it straight. I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. <laughs> Something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. No. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. The cell phone holds all the little girls' sweetest and spicy secrets. <laughs> I hate you're, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. Lawyers and their tricksy tricks. tricks. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's true. You cannot trust lawyers. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here, you can have the phone back. <laughs> there weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. It seems we didn't notice the recorded conversation. 
Yay. Yay. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. Y'all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Oh. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The, the witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? <laughs> You're trying to your loyally tricks on me now? She's not going to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Um, will I get anything from over here? No. I keep on pressing the wrong thing. That's all right. Let me talk to Maya. Hey, what is it? Oh. This is you. Mina? Sorry, my microphone was on mute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Oh, but no. he's not there! Room three. Oh my god, why is she like that? <laughs> why? Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. <laughs> You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say anything to that lawyer, pal. He. <laughs> Mellow to self. Thank Dr. Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Why is she suddenly southern? I don't know. I don't know why you're you're voicing her. I know. <laughs> oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful white witness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. It'll be you. Oh, Venus. It's gonna be you. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Hey, there's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? No touching! Oh. Dad. Oh Dad my boy. god. <laughs> you really shouldn't fry in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Okay, I guess I'll just talk to her. Yeah. Hold on a second. Mm-hmm. Oi. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, uh, what you witnessed? What did I witness? You think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. Whoops, I clicked the wrong thing. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Uh-huh. 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 What's the cat doing? Um, <laughs> better not encourage her. Oh no, Peter. Uh, you know that thing that occur um happened the other day? The bad thing? The bad thing. <laughs> what did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it? Pretty please? Oh, you said the pretty please. Let me see. Um well, Tremon. Jesus. If you wanna know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer! Are you hitting on me? N no Hey! I'm just doing my job here. 
you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well... No. <laughs> and you had your ho little hopes up, didn't you? My god. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, right. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of deduction! That's not what, what it says. Observation, you can't read. <laughs> oh, no. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Hey, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? <laughs> Damn. Smay doesn't like dozy little lawyers. Oh boy. Alright. Oh boy, is right. There's nothing I don't here. Know if I can really show her anything. Yeah. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. It's a Fay and Company law, uh, law Office building. Why, why? That's so hard to read, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. Hmm. Oh, she won't let me. <laughs> Maybe later. Flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, so that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. They look like roses! Phoenix, please! Um, uh, okay. Is hmm. he back yet? He's, He's still, still out! Ahem! <laughs> that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the third I've ever heard. Oh, so you're the one that say they say have been looking for me! <laughs> uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm? <laughs> that bad on your collar? Ah, uh, so you're a lawyer, are you now? I yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Ah, uh, yes. Maya Faye. Go on. Hmm? Why a strange reaction? Cha -cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go ta taking cases on a, on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What did I tell Maya? We tell her that sucks. I'm so sorry. How can you refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? <laughs> um, well, you see, it's just, I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. Hmm? Ahem. <laughs> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. Oh, shoot, you said that out loud. <laughs> I don't have time to uh, argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. I don't think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. Wh what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia Faye? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Haha, <laughs> you noticed? It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the wave of the straw hat. 
It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of three course. Three million? <laughs> no, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. All oh right. Oh my god, pay three million for it. All right. I guess we're gonna go here. Oh, Naya. I'm sorry. 3.42 p.m. Detention center. That makes sense. Hiya. Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well... What do I tell her? Well, see... I... I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean... He refused to help? Ugh. I see. You've been abandoned, then. Oh, oh. She's so dramatic, though. <laughs> I was about to say. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. That seems like it'll be a plot point in the future. I feel like, yeah. Don't know. So she could still be alive? I wonder if my family had been vegans for generations. We see a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. So over years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. She's a spirit oh, medium, else? can literally see them whenever, that's true. But she's a medium in training! No, the mom. Right? Oh, that's true. I had to become independent, or I'd lose my powers. I feel bad for her all by herself up on that mountain. So, who is this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. Why is it, uh, like... Things that... that... Oh, I'm just thinking about how, like, uh, containers for snacks and stuff are so fucking loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but and how's but, that like, in here? Well, because I, I can see it picking up on my mic. And, um, but meanwhile, while I'm, like, nibbling on my stuff, it doesn't pick up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's okay. The, the music drowns it out. Mm-hmm. Um, the police- oh, okay. oh, I thought you read that already. That's okay. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consult consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But... The man found out about it and leaked it to the press. Oh, I see. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. Of course. She... My mother became the laughingstock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Just a little bit longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Phoenix, please. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well... I can't abandon you. Aww. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. Oh. I know, I've been there a long time ago. I think this is a little bit worse than having no friends, Phoenix. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one in their side. Aww. 
Maya. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. <laughs> Aww. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Whew. She smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? A screwdriver. Yeah, I know, right? It's so <laughs> obvious! It was when I tried to look into know. the drawer that she got all defensive. I don't know. There has to be something to in there. Me. I don't know if she'll change. Oh, wait, her phone, her phone, her phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we have to my present phone. it to her. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, we, have, we read this. Present. Present. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say. Can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, I I can, will you finally tell me what's in here? I wanted to ask you about the murder weapon. Voices. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you're gonna show. You're gonna tell her how she died. Oh, I don't get any- oh. So off for the camera. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. Real pro, this guy. That's true, he hasn't moved an inch, because he's kind of- Yeah, sure, he sure was drawn that way. <laughs> um, alright. I don't think there's anything new. Uh, for, for right now. Alright. I think we can move around. Can I go to the bit. hotel? Well- Oh, okay. Somebody new. Good yeah. afternoon, sir! Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having Hello Panda. <laughs> Excuse me, you are... Ah, oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment. At your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the... Facilities? If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy! Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? <laughs> Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I he just forgot. appears! <laughs> he really just appears! <laughs> He's really- hey, he's good at his job. Yeah, you can't get back quick! Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. That is a bit of a tongue twister. Could it be a coincidence? Yeah. Anyway. Please, let me see this stupid <laughs> screwdriver. Yay! The screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Now it's my chance to see what's inside. Anyway, screwdriver! What do we have here? Uh -huh. A wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Hey, you don't know what a woman needs for a wiretap. <laughs> <laughs> There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this, I know it. Alright, I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman bottom. Wait. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean. Phoenix! Oh, bellboy! Still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. Phoenix, in court. Please. Oh, Phoenix. To be oh, Phoenix. continued. D. So I have to go to the next chapter? Yeah. 
Oh no, it's oh no, it's just moving on to the next part. Oh, I see. Okay. I yeah. eat my Hello Panda. Hello <laughs> Panda. Oh, I wish I got some Pocky. I will send you my Pocky. Thank you. Always oh, save. I oh, don't trust Mister. Mm-hmm. September 7th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number one. Court is now efficient for the trial of Miss Maya Faye. Oh, sorry, you were saying? Just, it's our new friend, Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth! Mm. Look at his cravat. Oh, I'll, re I'll read for the other side this time. Oh, okay. The defense is ready, Your Honor. I accidentally pressed it. The prosecution is ready. Okay. The defense is ready, Your Honor. You're good, you're good. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. Oh. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Faye, was at the scene of the crime. Crack a crack a crack a crack. Uh oh. Sometimes it picks up, and sometimes it doesn't. I oh, know. The prosecution is evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin, then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> Gumshoe! Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. He looks so out of his element. Hey, Dar. <laughs> Sir! My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Please, describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by this window here. And the cause of death? Oh, wait. Sorry. That's okay. Ain't good. Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. Now, detective. Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Faye, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I have hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Oh. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your, begin your cross examination. Y yes, Your Honor. Cross examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Hush. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. Is that allowed? What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Heh. <laughs> I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, tricks. let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. I love how the judge was okay with the with what the accused throwing paper around. I know, right? So just press him on everything? Yeah. <laughs> Who did you say you got a call from? Hey, pal. Don't play dumb, you know who. The call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right? Across the street from the crime scene. 
Hmm, okay, I press. Not sure it did much, though. Right, please continue. There are two people there already. Alright, let's press on this. <laughs> what if I press on everything? Basically. I'm absolutely sure it was us. <laughs> Listen, pal, your dumb act will only get you so far. With your funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two Hippie. stand out like suspicious people at a crime scene. Happy. Well, he does have a point about her. She Hippie, is pretty please. unmistakable. Your hair! I should pick up my points to press with a little more care. <laughs> Alright, fine. I immediately arrested Miss F Maya Faye. <laughs> Why is that? Why what's your reason? Why? We had a witness count describing her. <laughs> this is fun. Hold just one second. Y yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. That is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? W what? Miss May isn't suspicious. She sure isn't Pink, pal. <laughs> Well, I guess she's pink. Aww. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more cellar proof than other than our claims, Detective? Um. Hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results show that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. But her death was instantaneous. Mm -hmm. Is that actually a, a plot point? Yes. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Before we be begin cross examination, I have a question for you, Detective. Y Your Honor. Why didn't you testify about, about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. I know. I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. You gotta be more careful. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. Oh, gumshoe. Um... Can I do it here, maybe? Uh, what are you trying to show? I I'm trying to show that, her that she died instantaneously. Oh, right there, right there. Objection! Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote the note, that she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fey. That's really what you're saying? Wh what This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? <laughs> thinking emoji, yeah. <laughs> the, this entire, like, game has been thinking emoji. They even have the thinker, like, this thing, this thing has been in, like, two of these already. Like, so far, it's the only, like, important piece of evidence that has been, like, <laughs> here. Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, Detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately! But... No butting your way out of this one, Detective. Order! Order! Order. Oh, sorry. I always, just see, I always just see text on the screen and then just read it out without thinking. <laughs> it's fun, though. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have the time to write anything down. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? Uh, when? A day after the murder. 
It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... <laughs> <clears throat> that autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. Wh what? A second autopsy was performed yesterday, at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. There is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor? It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. You Look dramatic son of a bitch. Howling. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. <laughs> Why, Mr. Wright? You look shocked. Something you want to say? <laughs> I'm a sham! <laughs> I'm a sham! <laughs> I like how... man. <clears throat> you don't want to be your sham! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, I've heard there's nothing you won't do to get your verdict. What reason could you possibly have had to request a second autopsy report? Mr. Wright, the defense will refrain from personal attacks on the prosecution. <laughs> no matter, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, say what you will. The evidence is in... Excuse me. The evidence in this report is undeniable. Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. May have. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes? Bell. Darn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes! Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent? Witness, your name, please. This music. April May, at your- Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Order! An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd! The witness will refrain from a wanton winking! <laughs> oh. Wanton yes. winking? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Please say it wanton, not like wanton, like the thing that you eat. <laughs> oh, sorry, is it wanton? Yeah, wanton. It, yeah, you put this emphasis on the first syllable because otherwise oh it sounds like what, wanton. Uh, like... Wanton winking, my bad. I want wantons. Sorry. This is not good. He's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Oh no. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th, uh, when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like, in my hotel room? <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. This hotel is directly across from the fan coat law offices? Hmm, that's right, thing <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Please! Please testify to the court about what you saw. Are you having fun? You having fun, Mina? <laughs> There's so much wanton. Or wanton. How do you pronounce it again? W wanton? Yeah, wanton. Wanton winking. Yeah. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. Was it nine or was it a little bit before? Uh, it, w it, was, around, it was around nine, yeah. Because uh, Mia, cause Mia told, her to come, told Maya to come afterwards. Sorry. Was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair? Mousy! Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught up to her and she hit her! <coughs> what? I don't know if you sneezed. It sounds like you sneezed. I did sneeze, thank you. Okay, nice one. And the woman with the long hair, she kinda plumped. The end. And that's all I saw. Every <laughs> little bit you would see. <laughs> no more winking, please! Do you want me to read her stuff? No, it's fine. <laughs> I just forgot there was so much. 
She was so animated. <laughs> Sorry, I keep on I clicking. See. No, you're fine. I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm. Didn't you? Firm! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, I understand you are Miss, Fa Miss Mia Faye's understudy, will you not? You must know her techniques quite well. Uh, well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. Oh god, well, because I, I, I have a feeling Edward doesn't I thought want it's a crusty to. examination. <laughs> she has to have some weakness. Very well, you may begin your cross examination. Alright, let's see here. Is there anything that I can actually grab from this? Mm. Why did you look out the window? <laughs> huh? Why? Like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee! What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. Sort of, you know. <laughs> I had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one? Go for it. Go for it! Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. I... Oh. oh God, <laughs> Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. The badgering? You insist on needling her with these trivial questions. Slam. <laughs> I really don't think it should be allowed. <laughs> oh, gee, point. man. Yeah, yeah, stop him. The poor the girl. Poor girl. <laughs> Order. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. This is unfair. <laughs> poor girl, what about poor me? You looked out the window. What did you see next? <laughs> How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know. She had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look. I just know, okay? The one person at the scene of the crime with a short, girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. He's right. <coughs> Should I just... We can admit fault to this fool! Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that you saw nothing. Hmm. You're lying. Are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> yeah, what's the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless! About this, I mean. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. If you had really witnessed my client, M Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. Hmm? <laughs> no one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hair dude looks far from normal to me. However, it's just a bud. <laughs> the witness's testimony mentions neither of those things. Testimony's bogus. So, we don't know if she was dressed like that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May. The court would like to remind you to please admit nothing in your testimony. 
I'm sorry, Miss Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. <laughs> oh, God. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn. I almost had her. Is this legal? Your Honor! I did see everything! I did! The victim, the woman, dodged the first uh, first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon! I saw it! I did! That, that clock! Um, the kind of statuey clock? The thinker, I think. Well, does the accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> It's too accurate now. <laughs> Just a little bit. How'd you know it was a clock? I see. I only wish it had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. How'd you know it was a clock to begin with? Mm -hmm. Huh? Epi clothes. Uh, do I press her? Or do I show her the clock? Uh, or you would show her the clock, yeah. Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Naughty Mr. Lawyer. Oh my god. <laughs> you just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Another person in much the same position as you recently called it a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. Oh. Order! Order! Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh. The witness on the, uh, Sorry. The witness saw- you're okay. The witness saw the murder with her own eyes! That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns! Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. Yeah. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Oh, one. Well, only once. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Phew. That was close. If you stopped me there, the trial would be over. No. Huh? What? So what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? Th that? Because... I heard it? Yes, I heard it say the time! So, you've been to the law offices of Faye and, Co and Company? No! Hey, I didn't say that! Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room! <laughs> <laughs> the law offices of Faye and Co, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. She could have easily heard the clock. No, you can't. I know, right? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No. Absolutely not. No, Your Honor. Think of him now. I'm not satisfied because... Um... Wait, which side was... What's up? Can I present? Uh, rem remember, they took out the they put paper in it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Couldn't have wrong. Your Honor, members of the court, it's inconceivable that the question that the clock question rang. The batteries are dead. Uh, it's empty. Uh, it's not, or is it broken? No, I no, it's, no. I'd say it's empty since there's no batteries. That clock is missing its clockwork. Bang, bang, bang. <clears throat> How could you possibly? Just take a look, right now. Hmm. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Oh, I guess they took the thing that was inside. Yeah. I remember the guy, the, the guy that came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
He already knew because of the wiretap. Yeah. Mr. Wright! Would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big, fat liar. What? Well, Miss May? Oh, ho, ho. Tisk, tisk. Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty? Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there's no contradiction. Oh. Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Yes. Oh, impossible. I have proof. <laughs> what? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed. Whoops. You have this brain. Take a look at this. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you have a girly phone. Oh, wait, wait, this isn't my phone. Mm -hmm. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order! Order! D the defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention! Oh god, Edward. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it? Yeah. The detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. Oh no, Gumshoe! I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fellow. Let's hear the conversation. Do you just want to meet blah blah blah? So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could. I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clock word out. Sorry. September 5th, 1927. 19, 1920? Sorry, my 27. I can't read. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. I mean, 1927. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? <laughs> Well, well, is it obvious? I saw that clock, be clock before. Um, what store was that again? I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. <laughs> so the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. No, it wouldn't. Does the defense have any objection, Mr. Wright? Yes. The witness claimed she had seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Yeah. Well then, let's see it. Please produce the evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Because <laughs> both of them have been used in a murder! Aww. Impossible! Everything is sold in stores! Incorrect! Oh, sh oh shoot, she's twitching. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, excuse is not on sale today? Oh my god, Phoenix! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> god. Oh my god. Oh no! What's it to you, porcupine head?! That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? 
She did it, and she should die for it. Die. <laughs> oh my Jeez. God. There's so much happening. Whoa! Let's not get ahead of so get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Silly me. <clears throat> did I um like lose it? I guess I did. <laughs> this is scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tommy, how did you know the weapon was a clock? <laughs> oh god. <sighs> oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because you had heard about it. <clears throat> the witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She you heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There's no other way she would she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. And she was snooping. Have a look at this. Ah, oh, that. <laughs> I found this in this maze room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss Mia Fay's phone, were you not? Oh. Oh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. Oh, I think it's pretty relevant, man. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Overjection or rule overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous! Does the defense truly claim that the witness was wired was tapping your phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not! Oh yeah, I think I can. It's simple. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock. Do I have to do this again? <laughs> it's a phone, isn't it? Present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen yes, that. We've seen Listen that. once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Beep. Uh, I'm just gonna scrape through this. It's okay. It's a clock. It's made to look like a, like a statue of the thinker. It tells you the time. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous! Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? Uh... The defense demands an answer. <laughs> Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You... You lawyer! <laughs> <laughs> it's no fair! All of you ganging up on me like that! Oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> do that. No. That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Um Why the wiretap? I don't know if she did it, that's the only thing. Yeah. Cause we saw who did it. Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? <laughs> Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity tapping her irrelevant? Gah, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Well, 
Well, the court does not condone the defense's to tone of voice. He has a point. Oh, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Whoops. Oh. I'm always- I, I think it hovers over things and then I, like, don't notice that it's on there. I ain't good. Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha! I like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. <laughs> well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course, I can and will. You can't be serious, no way. Oh. Way, I say! Way! When I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay? So the killing- Oh, <laughs> so it happened around 9 at night. Oh yeah. So that just- Why is just getting room service from that sweet bellboy? Yeah, I found that I- uh, Apparently if I hold down, uh, my- uh, If I hold down the click, then it autos through everything. And so I- If I hold it down for too long, then it goes straight through. Oh, uh, I see, I see. R room service? Ice coffee, I believe it was. Ice coffee, you know? Like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you have regular cold coffee. I, I, I don't think that's a problem, but okay. Um, uh, ice coffee? Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at, at the time of the murder. So, where does that leave us? It's my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Faye, commit murder. No, they're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well... Uh, can... Hmm... I don't think I'm gonna get anything else out of her, so call the bellboy? I think so, yeah. Because I, th I think she's gonna stick, she's just gonna repeat everything. Yeah. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. Something suspicious here, and I'm going to get uh, to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk sunken quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy! <laughs> Can you do that? Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer. Thus, she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Faye. That is my condition. What? I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Well, I have to, can yeah. Alright, I got nothing to lose except for, well, everything! Wow! Oh. Understood, I accept your condition. You fall right into my trap, guard. Uh-oh. Uh, um, wait. <laughs> Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. <laughs> he, he brought, brought it, he said! He brought it with him! <laughs> yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. You just got cookies! That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. And the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel and been in business for four generations. 
I believe I received a call after 8 in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for a nice coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her precisely at the requested time, of course. He sure looks a little different in this. Or is it <laughs> yeah, just me? He does, like just a little. Like his face. And I delivered the iced coffee to her guest, Miss May herself. See, the defense may begin its cross examination. Right, I'm ready, I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder hot now, Maya will be finished. No! Okay. After 8 in the evening. 9 on the clock. Dot. Precisely the request of time, of course. <clears throat> mm hmm. Um, let's press her on nine. Mm -hmm. Nine on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV. Oh, whoops. It's she okay. drink after she finished, sir. Nine, the time of the murder. Hmm. Maybe I'll press this then. <laughs> <coughs> Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in per- I- or oh, sorry. I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. Stunning radiance, huh? <laughs> and I- and I saw them and I- <clears throat> The point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? Hmm... Precisely 9 o'clock then? Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that I be brought by then. Oh, bellboy! <laughs> I like, like... Ice coffee at exactly 9 p.m. 9 o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of 9 o'clock, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? Yeah, why would she be so food? Right. Did we press this one already? Uh, why not? Oh, yeah, I think You it sure is. it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. <laughs> Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an I appreciate that he knows it's endearing. Yes. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought in the room service, sir. She, the guest, sir, paired me with a, um, <clears throat> embrasse, sir. Embrasse? Is that fr uh, French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir, but not a French kiss, sir. A peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe, perhaps, she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. Mm. It's no good! There's nothing there! Is, is that it? <laughs> Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Mm, it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? I'll protest. Wait, wait, please wait. Yes, does the defendants have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. Alright, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Um... Uh, what? Okay. Bed making? Okay. 
I don't think bed making is gonna happen. I don't think it's bed making. Uh, it wasn't really brought up. Uh, um, shoot. We've already oh, talked wait, wait, about wait, wait, room wait, service, wait. so. Wait, Akari. Oh. Yes. Remember on the table, there were. There were two glasses. Oh, yeah. That means there had to be someone with her. Right, right, right. So, would, be, would it be room service? I think it would be check in. in. It would it be check in? Check in. Because there had to be someone with her. Tell me about check in. Oh, sure, Tell me about saved. when you checked in with me. Oh, whoops. It's okay. Wait, it's too late, it's too late. Oh, well. It is what it uh, is. Yeah. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was, was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. I kind of didn't realize she... that I could save in the middle of the... <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, she's just my type of girl, so it was a disappointment, really. I see. Excuse me, what exactly was a disappointment? Well, I'm not without charm, sir. But even I'd have a little chance with her lover there. I'd have, uh, yeah. Okay. What did he say? What did you say? Ah! Oh, or rather, quite! Bellboy, oh tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? Oh -ho! I object! <laughs> that was rather... That was objectionable! Yeah, sure, okay. Thank you. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. There, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask! <laughs> nice try. That's the sort of thing you're not normally supposed to mention- that you're normally supposed to mention. Well, I guess, quite, indeed. <laughs> it was the good- uh, is it Barrister? Yeah, Barrister. Barrister. Barrister there. Mr. Edgeworth, who- He asked me not to mention if it was if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Mr. Redworth. I've done it. I've won. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. Correct? Yes, sir. Then when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple. It was... The man with Miss May? <laughs> Gotta be. The man who checked in with Miss May. Oh. Your Honor... As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. Mom! Easy. What a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. <laughs> Upstart. Amateur! These accusations are ludicrous! Enough! The court acknowledges the defendant's... Uh, the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all. That is all today for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. Getting good. It's so, getting good. Mhm. Mm September seventh, two twenty-four p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Mr. Okay, Wright. We, we got through that. Let me save. <laughs> Yay! I'm really bad about saving. No, you're good. Oh, hey, at least we didn't die, you know? Uh-huh. You are amazing in there! Whoops. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. I didn't know that I could do that with the right click. 
Yeah. I don't know what you did, but I, I right clicked and it, and it put away the uh, what's the word? This text box here. Oh. Uh, oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> you see? Or, oh, it didn't do that. Oh, it just advances it, I guess. Yeah. Then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? The face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips. Trembling. <laughs> <laughs> sent shivers up my spine. Hmm, if you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? No. Um, oh, we're well... not paying attention. No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead on today's trial. Lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happens to May Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway. This case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. You think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you. <laughs> I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. Yeah. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. I don't know how much good this will do to me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. To be continued. <clears throat> oh, it's saving me anyway. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna get a drink real fast. Give me one moment. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna go fill oh, my shoot. drink too somewhere. Kitty. No. Where's my useful text? Is this one? Oh, wait, no, I know what this is. Let me not do that. <laughs> um, here you go. Eat that. Um, hello! Um, I'm gonna take a sippy. I will do my best to keep the um <laughs> They keep you guys... Skinny. Oh, I'm entertained! I'm not sure what to say. My cats are having dinner right now. Um, one of my kitties is eating. She's a fatty. I say that, but... <laughs> she's losing weight, thankfully. Um... I'm also having dinner. I'm eating burrito. I'm eating a burrito. Mm. But honestly, it's nothing too special. It's just Taco Bell because um, I didn't want. I didn't want to cook. Oh, mm. my cat's done. He's a bit of a mess eater. You see all the wet food on the floor. Yes, it's to be expected. Her face is pretty narrow, and she she even drinks like the from the water fountain, like on the side. Um, I think my mommy and my poppy said no, I was no, was BF son. 
As you said, her nose is, like, really narrow, so if she drank from, like, the actual fountain fountain part, like, she would probably drown. So she drinks from, like, the spout. Um, I guess she's full, because she's trying to get comfortable. She wants to take a nap. What a mood. This is getting really exciting. I'm gonna be really honest, I don't I don't remember too much. Um from the from from the game. Cause I played it. Akari hasn't played it, but I've played so far I've just played the trilogy. Um I think I'm on the third the last one. I can't remember which which one I left off on though. But I think after that I am gonna try the other games in this series, because I, I really liked it. I didn't think I would. Because honestly, I only know like the memes. <laughs> Before I played it, I only knew about the memes, like the objection, obviously, and Yeah, I know, right? It's it's so memeable. <laughs> it really is though. I have a meme of um uh, of one of these where uh <laughs> When I was talking with a bunch of my friends, it included Noel, and um, we were trying to t we were talking about what um, like an avian is or what a mongoose is, mm -hmm. and it kind of just spiraled. <laughs> <laughs> a mongoose? Yeah. So uh, Noel didn't know what a mongoose is, mm. and then um, it went from there. If we were because since it has goose in the title in it, uh, he he was like, "Is it a bird?" And then we were like, "No." And then somewhere along the line, while we were talking about birds, we brought up the word avian, and then he's like, "Wait, is that the water?" And then we're like, "No." I mean, he's halfway there. Yeah, it, it work. It works really well. I'll send. It, I'll send it to you. Thank um, you. But yeah, all right. Where did my cup? Where did my window go? Uh, did it save? Save again. Uh, save again. Yeah, it's always good to save just in case. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Yay! September seventh, three eleven p.m. Detention center visitors room. Well, hello. I didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this. It's really quite moving. <laughs> Not! You stinking lawyer! I hope you die! Damn. And you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the phone, Miss May! No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there's nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Jeez. <laughs> Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. Yes, it is her eye twitching in her model? Yes, oh, it, is. Shit. it is. Yeah. No! So, what is it you wish to ask me then? Hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? So true. Uh, this music is killing me. Okay. <laughs> so, it's so fun. Alright, let's just talk. Yeah. About the man who stayed with you in her, your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, when you see it like that, it sounds so... cold. So criminal. Um... Having people's phones is a crime, Miss May. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school. Hmm. Creep. Jeez. This woman is impossible to talk to. Say... Why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. No, that does it! Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer! Jeez. Oh my god. Bottom? I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? I think it's just you. Uh... Back. Was there anything we could show her right now? Uh, maybe show her your hurt. Maybe I'll show her. Uh, 
Yes. I don't think she needs one. Hey, guess what? Actually, I am um, really hate your guts. Jeez. So get lost, cause well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Uh, what about the wire tap? Yeah, I'll show you the wire tap. Okay. Yeah, okay, Ed. Um, All I right. think we'd have to find something else. All right. I don't think anything's gonna get our chalk. All right. Looks like forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. Police really gave this place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Yeah. They probably took all the good stuff. He is desperate for the clean as always. The only thing that's missing is Mia. Mm hmm. The sky is blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Mia's favorite potted plant. I guess I'll have to water it now. Old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Um... Alright. Sorry, I'm here. It's okay. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your effort today can only help the water- the gate- Sir, oh my god. I'm realizing it's Watergate. Is it Watergate? It, it backwards, yeah. Oh! Yeah, you split it in the middle, gate water, Watergate. <laughs> oh, I see. Welp. Uh, can only help the gate waters rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation was swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. <laughs> I mean, it's not- it's not wrong. We can charge a premium for the room. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It will be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. Why yet? I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Oh my god. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Honestly, it's so true. It's like how ho like hotels would charge double for like rooms where people got like died in. Yeah. <laughs> About Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about the man who was with Miss May. Ah, uh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are the same ilk. We both c carry the scent of... danger. <laughs> there we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. He had a photo of the man. I'm quite sure it could identify him. A photo? Hmm. But you can't just tell me what he looks like? Maybe he's one of those people who, like, needs a photo to remember. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. Now that you say Watergate, I I'm tempted to just say Watergate. <laughs> <laughs> I propose that we add a subtitle. Is it Watergate? A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Uh-huh. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. Do you think we could show him anything? I don't know if we'll really say anything, though. I don't think we have anything right now. I wouldn't say much, I don't think. I'm wondering when I can use this. Hmm. Oh, let's go see Mr. Grossberg. Mm-hmm. All right. Huh, looks like Grossberg is out today again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason? Oh wait, there's stuff. <laughs> there's something, uh... Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah, it was pa a painting of... Fisherman. Wasn't it? It wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. I honestly thought when I was playing this game that it was supposed to be like a hunter, and I was really confused when I put Fisherman. 
Well, because it's not Grossman, and it's not the other one, so I was just like, yeah. oh, I must be a fisherman. Uh, well, I guess photos, there are two lying around. Something's been written on the ba- in pencil on the backs. DL6 incident, exhibit A. DL6 incident, exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. That must be their mom. I'm sure no one mm-hmm. will miss just one little photo. Might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. A photo lies on the desk. <laughs> that is a face. <laughs> Maybe I should switch it with the I one I took. I don't think we're gonna need. Um, yeah, we don't need the other one for now. Yeah. Oh, so it is their mom's face. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to make sure that I took the right one. All right. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. It's just the thing won't change. All right. Back. I think that's really it. Yeah. Let's go to the hotel and ask him to look at this photo. Please and thank you, sir. Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Not a detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to see detective once. You know <laughs> this <it is>. dude. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Without a doubt, that's the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit and swear that it's him? An affidavit? A- affidavit. This guy is way too excited about it. Have him write it. Well, not sure. Have Why not? Yes! I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Oh my god. You're Just hurry excited. up and write it. <laughs> not even Miss May can play dumb to this. At least, at least you know he's cooperative, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um, let's go bother her I now. I think there's anything else we can show him. Let's go bother her now. You again? Can't you take a hit and stay gone? Hey, the only reason I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so it's my fault now? You don't just have spiky hair, you also have a spiky heart. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. No, no you won't. You won't. It's iconic. Bet you won't. <laughs> here, both this? The bell was affidavit. It tells us everything he saw. Such as the man you checked in with. Who was most definitely this guy. <laughs> now I'm getting somewhere. Uh. Ease her fears? Sure. Uh, for this one, I think it doesn't matter. Okay, okay she's vulnerable now. I should be gentle. Miss May, it would be easy for me to hand this affidavit to the police. If they get involved, wouldn't your boss be even more, uh, inconvenienced? All I want to do is have a little chat with him. You won't tell me? Is that all you have to say? Yes. If it's so easy for you to get the police involved, then why don't you? Somehow I think you're not up to it. Hmm. So then a little kindness and then jump all over you. I had the opposite effect to what I hoped. Aww. Poor little lawyer. And you were so close. This isn't working. I've worn out this piece of paper's usefulness. Damn it. No! Oh. oh. The man in this photo is the one I want. Why did April May not want to talk about it? She must know him. How about this photograph? You're wasting your time. My lips are sealed. Unhelpful. Anything? Have we do we unlock anything for talking? Oh, so. maybe. I know we did. Mm. Oh, that man. Not the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's being accused of murder. I don't think you want to be protecting him. Hmm. Would you have sought out the late Miss Fade of the cops? No. See? Damn. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Well, I guess I don't have anything here right now. Uh... What else can I do? Uh, what else do we have? We just have the picture, right? Mm-hmm. Um...
I don't think the test one is gonna do anything. Yeah, I don't think I have anything. Uh, we might have to leave. We, we're, well, let's check out... The... Is there anything new in the office, maybe? Maybe. Right. Where the heck is that loafer? Oh, here he is. He's back. <laughs> ah, that old familiar cleaning of the throat. Oh, you again! Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well. You were quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial! The trial! He was there? Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through me, uh, maybe? Brings me back- it brings back memories, it does. Ah, uh, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. I... It was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I... Well, I... I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you gave me some information. For real? So you came to the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. If you were that worried about it, why didn't you offer a defender? I asked before, but why did you refuse her request for defense? I think I have a right to know. Uh, right, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. The other day, I'm sure there was a big, pretentious-looking painting on that wall. Pretentious-looking? Well, <laughs> you know the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Ah, yes, well... I got rid of it. Got quite tired of the thing, really. I uh, sold it, you see. Yes, that's right. Sold it? Not sure I buy that. Was that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please, speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't... I... <laughs> Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you get that? I borrowed it. Well, give it back at once! Mr. Grossberg, tell me about the man in this photo. He may have been in that hotel room with April May on the night of the murder. Do you know something about him? Anything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very well. I'll tell you what I know. However, you didn't hear it from me if you follow. I follow. That man is Mr. Red White. He's the president of Blue Corp. Oh my god. Red White. Hmm. Red White of Blue. Blue Corp. There's something like a detective agency, right? They're information pros. They sell information, you see. Sensitive information. Despite his name, Mr. White has the blackest reputation of any man in this country. Should you run across him, watch what you say. You wouldn't want him digging up any dirt on you. Hmm, selling information. Sounds like blackmail. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Hmm, I suppose. Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. Even if April May couldn't have done it, he could have. Time to take action. Now, I must ask you to leave. I need to think about things alone. Alright. Is the other picture still on the counter? Or on the desk? Uh... No. Oh, okay. I'll probably have to grab it at a different time. Mm-hmm. Move. Oh god. What's with the surreal decor? Welcome! Please <laughs> furnish me with the title of your pers- Is it personage? I think so. Personage! <laughs> <laughs> what the? Your name! What's your name? I was just incorrectly asking the title that you go by. Uh, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous! Perhaps I have, I have intimidated you with my gigantesque vocabulary? <laughs> what is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. Oh, I see why uh, April May likes him. <laughs> my business dealings bring 
bring me into contact with the elites of the elite. So I'm afraid I'm not used to conversing with the wordly challenged. You see. <laughs> what a fruitcake. <laughs> hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to beat me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes. This guy's arrogance meter is off the chart. Oh my god, a smile. <laughs> Miss May Miss is an May employee. Is... Oh, wait. Okay, Miss May is an employee okay. of Blue Carpet, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was. Ooh. Oh, sorry. It's okay. What a shock it was to hear what she has done! We're so good at this. Yes. What she has done? You hard. mean the wire chat? Reading is hard. Indeed! She is paid to answer phones! Tapping in is not part in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But, I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this! It sounds like she's trying to turn- he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. Thank you for the follow! <laughs> Thank you! On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to modern details as- such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy! Okay, fair. Still, Mr. White. The hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. But you threw away that you evidence. I was say, you threw that away. You threw it away. No matter, the bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. I see. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. I see. Although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm. He raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh, the police. The courts. To me, they are mere toys. Playthings for my amusement. What kind of company is Blue Core anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say, we are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I built this business up into the grand office you see now. In case you are wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. Oh, really? <laughs> I, Red, White, of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. Why? And why, you may ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Okay, valid. I guess. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I have to think about how to pronounce this. Fantabalistic? Fantabalistic, is it not? Fantabulistic, yeah. Fantab He's just making up words now. Ah, uh, there's something good. that's been bothering me. Yes? What might that be? That big painting on the wall over there. I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh? Just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple, uh, rather my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. <laughs> it appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A lawyer? No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney. Howdy burger! Oh my god. <laughs> what? Mm. Mm. Ugh. Oh my god! Uh, he, he punched me. Oh my god, he punched you! Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, huh? Charge me with assault? Charge away. I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. 
But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your compensation. <laughs> That's a really funny way to put that, actually. Because <laughs> he's like... It's all about money, right? Yeah. Usually you say it's a world beyond your comprehension, but... Compensation is money. Yeah. So it's not that we it's not that we don't understand, it's that we don't have the money for it. Yeah. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossberg's, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you? Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Yeah. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. I see. That mm. reminds me. Have you, mm -hmm. Wait. Yeah. Since you haven't played the game, have you have you heard about the anime? Uh, I watched like one episode. You have to watch the one with him in it. Oh God. It's so funny. I could do that. Yeah. Oh, Goaty Burger. <laughs> huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! Jump in Jehoshaphat's! Oh, you! Oh, no. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm? I'm not senile yet! I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him, that much is clear. So I paid Blue Cora a visit. Oh? Oh, I see! Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well out with it, my boy! You see, it's just... Our big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it, today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Court, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Uh, he's blackmailing you? You're lovers! You're lovers! <laughs> Wait, I want to know what he says. I don't, uh, wait, yeah. what do we say? They are gay. I agree. But for each other. <laughs> it's not something I can't claim to understand, but you and Mr. White are lovers, aren't you? Wh what? My boy? You sent that painting to him as a oh, sign. No. <laughs> a sign of undying love. <laughs> My boy, please. You're letting your fancies run away with you. Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I, I don't understand how you could... That's because I'm not. We're not. Don't be ridiculous. Enough. I'll swallow <laughs> my pride and tell you all. I knew it. For Joshi Phoenix. <laughs> so true. Phoenix, do you ship it? Phoenix ships it for sure. Hey. I knew it. They are lovers. <laughs> I like how he just goes with it. No, yeah. we are not lovers. Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Lucor is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? Excuse me? Hey? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. Oh, no. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's a connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy. But addressing Red White, it would be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and, pol and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than a sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Hey, Indeed, she was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the bequest of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. 
I did all I could for her and in the end cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grixberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't know people uh, didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It's an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he, see fit, as he sees fit. Yet, if you will still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office. He follow she followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. What else do we have to say? So you came to see the trial? Yes, yes, I did. Something was bothered. Okay, well, he already did this one. It means just the same thing. Well, you yeah. see, it's just me and sister, that poor girl. Thank you for the follow. Thank my boy, you. I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had done poorly for the girl. Maybe he just says the same thing. I asked before. I think I wrote it now. Alright, it's the same thing. Yeah. Alright, so let me go to the office then. Um. Mm -hmm. It's funny looking at this room. It seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said that there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Uh, A through I. Let's see if there's a record in this file that catches my eye. <laughs> Stupid. Misty Fay, that's me and Maya's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? Yeah, sure. I have tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words, my mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So Mia knew Grossberg. Alright, let's see what's in here, maybe. Nothing much here, maybe I'll just skim some of it? Yeah, sure. Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. Uh, suicide? Ew. She has a collection oh, of suicide heavy. reports. There's politicians, policemen... There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved Ooh. in these suicides. White Ooh. drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Oh my gosh. Uh... I'm kind of curious what the flavor text is for the last part. That's all. Mm -hmm. T U I know W white. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? All right. Now what? Um. Mm. Where should I go? We've already went to the officers. We're here. Um. Should we try? Do we? Maybe we can talk to him again. Maybe. Well. Oh, wait. This is you. No, you're good. Well, why are you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. I really hate having to repeat myself. But I've seen the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty ex accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. All right, let's go back to Grossberg, maybe. No, I don't think he's gonna say any more. Um... I found this in Mia's files. Oh, wait, yeah. So she was investigating Red White, as expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. Anything else? Mm. Nope, I guess not. Uh, maybe we'll talk to her. Apparently, Miss May is in questioning. 
I doubt they'll oh. let her talk to me again. Uh, uh, what about the hotel? Do you think of anything else? Maybe? Hmm. The bellboy seems to be out. Huh? The sound of water coming from the shower. <laughs> Na -de -de -da. Money making! Money making! I got the money making blues! <laughs> Someone seems to enjoy <laughs> washing the showers. Um. Is there anything else we can look at? I don't know if there's anything new. I don't think so. Screwdriver's still stuck in the drawer. I better not touch it. No telling what the bellboy would do to me. I'll probably say it's it's like a... What's the word? It's a presentation for the hotel or something. I guess so. Maybe. Presentation's not quite the right word. Um... Oh, wait! Can we show... Can we show the newspaper clipping to... To Red? Do you think that'll do anything? You can try it. It's the only clue that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Mr. Light, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You blackmailed him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all the suicide cases that Mia was investigating. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre ac accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing right now? Investigating me? Nom nom nom. I think not. <laughs> you should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, hello. Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. <laughs> You're wrong? I don't know- I don't know what he's referring to in this- Wait, oh, yeah. is he saying- Oh, is he saying about the investigation? So we- so we- so he's telling- Shoot. I wish there was a way we could go back and read the dialogue. Yeah, I don't understand. Uh, well, say it just in case. I don't know if it changes anything. Um... You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing now is going after you. Oh, there we go. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. <laughs> Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. What? That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see? And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Oh. Quietude! <laughs> Told you and Nate changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The Executioner! The Hatchet Man! The Liquidator! The Killer Man! What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor. I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? Rude. I'm telling you to send the police, now! Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? 
You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you? I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see? You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they will be even make you look confident. I... I feel faint. Gumshoe! <laughs> Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir! Ah, butts! Harry butts! No! Right, actually. Phoenix right. My friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Oh, Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe. I present to you, the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. What? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. <laughs> All said with a pearly white grin. I know, right? September 8th, 3.37pm. Detention center, visitor's room. Oh no, are we in the detention center now? I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on, of course, Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right! Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean you... I explained what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it! How many people does a man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother... My sister... And now you! This has gone too, gone too far! It's a cute face. It is a cute face. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Defend me in court! Seriously? No. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, no, you can choose any of them. In this case, it really doesn't matter. Well, you can cheer me on in court. You mean you don't want her to be your lawyer? I, I would be a little you? concerned. <laughs> Is it the hippie clothes? Uh, maybe the more the ditzy personality. <laughs> <laughs> cheer for you? You mean like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that. Alright, leave it to me. Huh? I'd better go get a uniform and some pom-poms. Oh my god. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way! No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. What? Well, I can't just sit here and do nothing. I gotta give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. <laughs> She's so cute, I love her. Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Oh, Beginning no. a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Three Almost all finished so in a day. Most of the guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in the, in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as a star witness. This is it. Tomorrow it's me or him. How many chapters are in this? So like after after this trial, is there more stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh we'll we'll finish um we'll finish the the episode and then probably be done for the day. Mm-hmm. I believe there are five episodes. And oh, then okay. I think after the first one. A little bit. They included a new one for the uh, trilogy. So oh, six. okay. That's cool. Mm-hmm. September 9th, 9.52 uh, a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. Well, I guess this is it. Yeah. 
One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, Phoenix, look! Oh, that is not a flattering <laughs> sprite. Don't make, don't make fun of him! He's doing his best. Look at his, look at his cravat! Look at his fancy cravat. Yeah, that's fine. It's his hair that I'm concerned about. Yeah. Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. Hmm? I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. I raise an objection. I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? So you're saying I'm going to be guilty. End of story. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent. How can we know that? The guilty would always lie, to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. So I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect Don't any expect special- any... Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Phoenix? Well, court will be starting soon. What? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet! They're not- I'll be defending myself. What?! <laughs> that face. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Kids, do not actually defend yourself in court. You will absolutely fail. Uh-huh. Or it is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Whoops. Well... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Sure, why not? I'll save. It's always important to save. Bless you. I didn't do anything. Or is that too... Oh, was that, was that, that was BF son. BF, BF son. BF son. Yes, Your Honor. I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? And it's like Mr. it's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, it's supposed to. I suppose it's me. Should I raise an objection? I'll say it doesn't matter. Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides... At the time, I thought Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Are you gonna do the bow thing? No. <laughs> Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. There's the bow. We did it. Great. He gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Sparkle. <laughs> Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Uh, um. <laughs> uh, your name? Yes, that is what I said. <laughs> oh, wait, shoot. Oh, dear. Do my look... Lo is the locutions? Yes. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? Name! These two are great together. 
My name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. Where did the Nino come from? I'm the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. I think whoever is quote unquote friends are. I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> him? <laughs> Did you know the victim, Miss Mia Fey? That will be a negatory. No, I did not. Like, okay, you know, I'm a writer, right? Yeah. I like. Okay, so y there are some people that believe that, like, you should never use, like, big words, and um, when you can use smaller words, which, like, to a certain extent, is like a true statement. In particular, like, words like utilize instead of the word use. Um, mm. I don't entirely agree because I believe that, um, like, words and sentences come together to have rhythm. So yeah. certain words, um, if they have the same meaning, then you can interchange them rather than, um, what's the word? Like, so you can interchange them as you see fit for the sake of patter and yeah. just like um I guess auditory texture in a way mm -hmm. um this dude doesn't do that <laughs> he's all about making like, a big impact like if you're using a word you need to be using it for a reason and he's just looking for words that have the greatest number of syllables <laughs> and I hate he that <laughs> He wants to appear... Like, this is a dude that we use utilize for the sake of using utilize. I'm utilizing yeah. utilize for the sake of using utilizing utilize. That's the kind of thing. <laughs> you know? <Yes. laughs> we look at him. I hate him. And then also he's like... Like, he looks down at people for being like... Like, plebeians, basically, and not using big words. But he, I, I'm, yes. he doesn't even know the, the meanings of the words that he uses. Which is also a problem that I have with people that write, you know? <laughs> Don't forget, he makes up his own words. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think I think he won't... It's more like he just, like, kind of combines and makes mismashes of them. Yeah, he mismashes um, prefixes and suffixes, not knowing that all, not all of them can go together. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I hate him. <laughs> you were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. <clears throat> Why well, tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. Wright. Or sorry, Mr. White. You may get begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Oh. 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 <laughs> I, go. I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. I'm not religious. Same. Let him have it, Phoenix! Oh, hey, she's with us! Alright, let's fucking go. Yeah, let's get him! Let's see, it was about 9, p nine o'clock, I believe. I was quietly perusifying, or not reading to you, some papers by the window. Oh, let's read them. I hate him. <laughs> and then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Well, that's fine. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him. Spiky haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was nutter than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. If things occurred as you testified, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Or, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Can't wait to see this man burn! Mm -hmm. With his toothy smile. Oh, wait. I'm 
bedlam. Why do I keep on doing that? My like, I like naturally leave it till like right here and then end up clicking it. <laughs> Must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see, continue. Continue. Oh, that's no fun. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? Michael. Counting both eyes? 40. Um, 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Okay. I mean, <laughs> yes, but also, he's an idiot. Whose side Please. is the judge on anyway? The one who's being brought- the one who's bribing him- or blackmailing him. Mm -hmm. uh, and what did you do then? He's me. Hmm. What was Miss May doing at the time? He had just finished wa watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. I see. Did you know she had been tapping the Fey office phone? Irrelevant! That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I cannot. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss Fey was acting alone when she tapped the phone of this Fey woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh, oh I know! After all, I am El Presidente! <laughs> oh, please continue. This dude! How does she run? Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Comprende! I understand! The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Sparkle. As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Uh-huh. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new d detail. Thanks. As you see... Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wait, right there! Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh. oh! It is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the floor pans. The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? <coughs> I like that. <laughs> Very strange. I did see her run to the left. I did. Well, because it was your left. Mm -hmm. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see the victim run left. So he did witness the killing? Wait a Phoenix, second. Please. Mr. Wright? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain the con this contradiction to the court? Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth, for once. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. Er, rather, that is not clear of the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. If he wasn't in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law offices of Faye and Company, of course.
More specifically, he was standing here. I didn't show the court where Mr. White was standing. Um... Here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sure. This is where he was. Look! When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste! That is where the killer was standing! Exactly! Keep up, Edgeworth! Order! I will have order! Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt! Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion! The postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor! Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. <laughs> oh. oh! You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer! What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Your Honor. Might I be allowed to attest testify once more? My room makes noises, and it sounds like people are knocking on my door. No. Oh, um, whoever's no, knocking at the door. Yeah. No, nobody's no nobody's knocking. It just sounds like it. Okay. It's also twelve thirty, so it's like nobody's awake. You never. Maybe it's a ghost. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Very well. Let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. <laughs> Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her! Savagely! That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow! That is what Miss May saw. You see? You hit her twice! Uh-huh. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? <laughs> hmm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. <laughs> if only we were allowed to speak candidly in court. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. No. What do you have to say to that? Mm -hmm. Now it's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? Mm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. <laughs> Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yes, yes, quite. The witness is confused because he's lying! I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Yeah. Justice! Don't get away! Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this now, White. Mr. White? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's see. I looked at the other window when I heard that thing fall. 
Then, the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then... She turned and ran for the door. Then you did her with a single blow! Thwap! Okay, that's valid. Getting all sweaty now. Hmm. Thwap, indeed. indeed. <laughs> Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Mr. Your Honor, my stomach, you see, is hurting. Deal with it. Yeah! This is almost over. Deal with it. Hmm. When the thing fell. Well, what thing was it? You heard that thing fall. What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that? Um, the glass light stand. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix! Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Hmm... Yeah, very odd. Mr. White. Huh? Wh what? You're saying you saw the glass light stand? Y yes Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. The witness will revise his testimony. Again. Again. Okay, okay, of course. That stand was laying on the floor when they looked. Um, but can you see it in... You can't see it from the window. It doesn't look like it now. <laughs> A glass light stand was lying on the floor? That's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the stand before? But why? Me? Well, I was instructed not to. Wait! One moment! Give me a minute to gather my thoughts! I'm so... so confused. Why, it's falling apart. Your Honor! Please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. Mr. Wright! Please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Edgeworth is on the ropes. Very well. The witness may continue his account. Hmm. I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Turned and ran for the door. Um. Would it make a thwap noise? Uh. Pretty heavy. I guess it would. I guess, uh, I guess it, wouldn't, it wouldn't make so much of a thwap as it would be just like more like boom. a thunk, yeah. Yeah, oh, but um, I don't, I don't, I don't think the thwap is what they want though. Uh, I was lying on the floor when I looked. Can I present this? Yeah. Mr. White. It was impossible for you to have seen the glass stand. What? Look at this. These are the floral plants to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area we you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, ridiculousity! Mr. White, if you were in the Gatewater Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the sand before it fell over. In fact, you, would have been, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There's no way you could have recognized the broken shards as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the sand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fey Law offices. 
In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Yeah! Oh god, look at his face. <laughs> Oh no, look at him. Oh. Mr. White? Mr. White? You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor. I... I... Miss Mia! <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection! That's far enough, Phoenix Fight. Wh what? Ugh, I forgot about Edgeworth. Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now? Hmm? What? I said you should confess your crime. Ergo. Confess that you placed the wiretap. Uh, wiretap? Order! Order! Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Faye. What does that have to do? Your Honor. The question is, when was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No! You wouldn't! Mr. White. In order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? <laughs> correct! You are most correct, Miles! <laughs> Give me a break! Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Fey and Lock Fey and Cole offices. That is when I saw that accursed light stand. Now I'm confused. Please explain to the car what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gladly, Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White knew the, state, the glass stand was in the office. He has shown that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. At the very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was a murderer. I see. However, it is a fact that Mr. White has been to, has been to that office White. Uh, well before the murder took place. When he went to the place of the wiretap. You could have seen the glass light stand then. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is... Excuse me. Ergo, Mr. Phoenix Wright's theory is revealed for the big conjecture it is. Better, 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 better. <laughs> Mr. White! You will testify to the court about this wiretapping. <laughs> um, leave it to me. I I feel faint. Oh, Phoenix. All right. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fay and Co. offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. That is when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So, you saw the light stand before the night of the incident. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over. By the sound? Sparkle. Correct. That is right. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Uh, what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. Uh, beginning of September. Turn the last light stand. There's nothing for me mm -hmm. to press him on. Oh well. 
Maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Okay. Is oh, there evidence? Um. Is there anything we can. Uh. Magic? Hmm. Hmm. Wait! Huh? Receipt? Yeah, it's, um, what she wrote Maya on. Receipt. Does it. Can. Is there a way we can. Look at the receipt? No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Um, uh... Alright, I think we have to press something. Yeah. Here, we'll do this one. Okay. D do you have proof? Miss April May knew the details of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Uh, right. Okay. Hmm. I think you have to press them on everything. Alright, I'll press them on everything then. I don't think what I, I can't think of anything else that I have to. Yeah. Oh, whoops, I went the wrong way. Okay. We press them on that one. Let right, me just do everything. Yeah, I can't remember. Uh, was it really you that went into the office, or was it Miss May? Unidif unidentified. Oh my goodness! Unidentified fingerprints several days old were found in the Fane Cole offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. And if I know Edgeworth, he's already run a check on those prints. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fane Cole offices. Why did you tap me his phone? This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. The Corp is a detective agency of sorts. <laughs> we have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. I see. <laughs> Why did you notice something as innocuous as a light stand? The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a butaceous thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it, there's nothing for me to press him on. Butaceous. Where was butaceous? Don't tell me I've run out of ammo. No! Wait, that's as far as you go, Mr. Wright. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> you fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright? Are you giving up? I yes, Your Honor. Phoenix. Phoenix. Oh. Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. Mia? Never get up, Phoenix. Yeah, never. Excuse me. Uh, Mia! Oh shoot! Did you die? Where... where am I? The waiting lobby? What happened? Oh right, I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, uh, you're finally awake. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, Phoenix! Gak? Gak? There's no way to treat an old, greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. You're... Maya? Didn't you know the Fae women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears I was enough of a shock to awaken Maya's true powers. So, Maya's channeling you, Mia. That's right. I am Maya, but I'm also Mia. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either! 
That's what I came here to tell you. But, but... We don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the court re record, right? Um, oh yeah, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, Blade wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Looks like it's from a famous department store. $1,000. Wow, big spender. <laughs> Item, glass light stand? Date of purchase, September 4th. September 4th? That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa! Now, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he saw the stand the week before- Oh wait, that's you, that's you! Oh. Go ahead. He said he saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is, able, is about to reconvene. Go do it, Phoenix. You know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. Thank you. <laughs> this Yay. is what I needed. E. September 9th. 1.16 p.m. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Fe Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant... Rather, are you alright, Mr. Wright? Yes, yeah, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start where we left off. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Your Honor? There's nothing to go back to. The cross-examination of Mr. White is finished. All that's required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant, Phoenix Wright! Your Honor. Please, give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Mm. But, as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an, op do you have an opinion on this matter? I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. All right. Beginning of September, the week before the murder. Uh. Get him! Look closely at this. You see the word Maya written in blood? Ah, you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other side of the receipt. The other side? Your Honor, would you tell the court what is written on the other side of the receipt? Hmm. Well, a glass light stand. And the date of purchase. Why, that's the day before the murder! Ugh. Ugh. You see? Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Faye and co Company law offices at the beginning of De September, the stand could not have been there. Yeah, so much screaming. <laughs> well, Mr. White, can't get out of this one, can you? No, it's a. Oh wait, oh wait, I have to think about this. Impossible achievable? I think so. It's impossible achievable. Uh oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you, but I think you'll agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Very well. Then, that is all for the trial of... Oh. Not so fast, Phoenix Wright! Uh, what? No way can he worm this way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot, it's Edgeworth. There is a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claim. However, there is no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is in innocent. Uh. Ergo, 
I would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm. Another inquiry? This isn't going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Um. Nice, I'll object. Mr. White's guilt is obvious. There is no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. If anyone's gonna call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the prosecution. I have not seen the updated autopsy report, Mean, What is that? Oh, that was... <laughs> Wait, have you really not seen the meme? Or I might have, just, like... It's, it's, uh, it's Edward dancing. <laughs> And you're dancing? <laughs> wait, wait, Noel, do you have the meme? You need to send it in the group chat. You gotta send yeah, it in the group chat. Please send it to me. Thank you! If anyone's gonna call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the pro pro Oh, wait, no, that's you. Yeah. I need a day to ascertain whether these new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. OBJECTION DENIED! <gasps> WHAT?! The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix White will be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Edward is sure to come up with or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to help me and all. Mr. Your Honor! May I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. Gah! <laughs> The witness will stay! Mia! Phoenix! Read this note out loud. Mia? What's this? Your Honor, if I may? You're quite persistent today, Mr. Wright. You bet I am! My life is riding on this one! For real! Alright, it's something I would like to read to the court. You just- you just read out the cell phone conversation again. The memo Mio had given me with a list- was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities... That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! Please, stop! Make him stop! How? How did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now, or else this list will be released to the pro I, I confess, I confess, I did it, I hit her, I hit Miss Mia with the thinker. Case closed, your honor. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. Yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that. If only you knew how spirited it was. Well... This court finds the defense? Ahem. Rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Guilty! Yay! 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 I don't know how this is allowed in the courtroom! <laughs> that is all. This court is adjourned. Yay! September 9th, 2.24pm. Should have thought about it harder! Should have thought about it harder? I guess so. <laughs> Defendant lobby number one. Well, I never thought I'd be saying this again. You know, we should watch one of the Phoenix Wright stage plays. Actually, I do want to watch that. That would yes! be really fun. They're so good! There's something about stage plays. They're so... much. Wait, Noel, Have you seen the breakdancing one? What? Wait! Wait! No! No! Oh, I have, I'll find it. I'll send it to you guys in the group chat. You have to see it! I have to see that, yes. Yes, you have to. We'll, we'll, we'll do it after the uh, stream. We'll do it yes, after yes, the yes. stream. Yes, yes, yes. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay. 
<laughs> well, but congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fae. Actually, though, I'm lucky I had both For you real. and Maya on my side. For real? I'm glad you made it. The way that I like literally could not do anything about that, I had to. I had to have like the Deus Ex Machina. <laughs> I'm telling you, Mia's too powerful. That's why she had to die. Really? For real. And she's even helping us beyond the grave. Yeah! Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me. And Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. Well, you're kind of dead. As long as you live? My time here is running out. Huh? Maya's powers are still weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No! There's still so much to say! Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief! Mia! November 9th, 9.02 p.m. Bay and Company Law Office. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came! Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry. What a burger! M Mia? <laughs> you should see your face! Mia? What are you talking about? It's me! Maya! Uh, Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like? You were her! Hmm, I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix! Go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this! See? Mia wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of? Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new Wright & Co. law offices, right? And who better than me? Maya Faye reporting for duty. Wait, no. On second thought, let's make this casual. Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down <laughs> to <the> business. <laughs> <laughs> you... You, you don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. Mia said that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick from Phoenix, I guess. I wonder yeah. what she calls him, because he's he's Naruhodo, right? In Japanese. Yeah. What does she call him for a nickname? Oh, I'm not sure. I'd have to look it up. Um, I'll look it up. I don't I don't know what she calls him. Nick? I don't think it's is it Nick? No, no, no. You know what this means? We're partners! You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. Wow! But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Riot and Company Law Offices. That's got a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Aww. Good luck, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Right. Okay, Nick. Let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on! Time's a wasting. I know I'm uh, the... Okay, wait up! In the original, she wants ramen instead. I'd be down for ramen. Yeah. We did it! Achievement unlocked. Turnabouts is with sisters. Oh, that sounds funny. Save my progress, yes please. We did it! I did it! How do you feel? Pretty good. Oh, Turnabout like Samurai. It like it's a it fun so game. Far, it's a fun game. It is game. a lot of fun. Yeah, I can see why, um, and like, knowing that I've seen like other, um, like cut-ins from the game, like the graphics do improve eventually too. Um, oh, yeah. Because, like, the cell shading is, like, uh, not as nice as other things that I've seen. So that's why I'm like, oh, 
it must get better at some point. <laughs> it used to be sprite work too. The sprites were re were really fun. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, sprites sound nice. I like pixel art. Yeah, I think they moved to 3D eventually, yeah, eventually later though. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Everybody moves to 3D. But yeah, it's a oh. it's a good game. Uh there's like just limitations to what I can do, I guess. Yeah. Um cuz like there was no way that I could do it without Mia stepping in. Yeah. At least with the limitations of the game. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a, it's a really fun game. I I enjoy I enjoyed it. Uh, we'll I'm have to so do glad. we'll have to do more of it eventually. Yes. This is a really good trial. Oh, it's just gonna. Paleman, this guy cries for your blood. blood. Oh my god. The moon? No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you'll ever see. Oh jeez. <laughs> see evil you in hell, evil magistrate. <laughs> 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 the warrior's sword gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The dark messenger returns. I wanted to return to... Oh, it's October now. Yeah. I wanted to return to the title screen. Yes. We'll have to just read that again. Yeah. But yeah! It was a good time. It was fun! It was a lot of fun. I'm so glad you like it so far. Yeah, I enjoyed it. We'll have to do it again. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's uh, getting a little late and um, I have something to do tomorrow, so otherwise, otherwise I think I would continue. Yeah. But yeah. Thank you for being with me. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I got you to try out this game. Yeah! I, I like, bought this game because it was, like, on sale, and I knew that a lot of people really liked it, but I don't think that I would have played it for a while if it weren't for uh, you saying, like, Hey, let's collab! Yay! I wasn't even sure what to do with the co- what- As we were talking about, uh... Which one was it? Was it the- Keep talking and nobody get nobody exposed. Oh yeah, I do have that. We were gonna do that, but uh, we're, you said you said to wait until it goes on sale. Oh yeah, it has it not gone on sale yet? Mm, no, not yet. And then we and then we turned uh, Overcooked into a group collab. Which oh yeah, we, yeah, which, yeah. We, which we, need to, we need to follow up on that. Oh yeah, we need to finish the game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, did you really only play the first game, Noah? Huh? Oh yeah. Uh, he's I mean, there's three of them, so I guess that makes sense that there's like yeah. a lot of room for you to not do any, uh, not finish. I guess. There is a lot, yeah. But uh, yeah. We'll plan for next time. Yeah, we'll have to do it again. Maybe not. Yeah. Next week, I'm trying to decide what I want to do next week because um, I might be busy two weeks from now. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'll have to think about that. Oh, uh, um, let's see. At the, I know at the end of the month, the uh, last Saturday, I'm having D and D with uh, with uh, with PF Sound and, and oh, some I other see, friends. I see, I see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll figure something out. We will figure something yeah. out. One way yeah. or another, we will continue this game. I, I definitely want to. Oh, I'm for sure, for sure. It. I like these kind of games, to be honest. I I love since I since I finished reaction. since I finished finished playing like Zero Escape, like this is kind of a puzzle game. It's not as like intense as like the puzzle rooms in, in Zero Escape, but it's definitely like puzzle -esque. It's super satisfying, like seeing like like the faces of like people who get burned. <laughs> yeah, it's great actually. <laughs> uh but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end stream now. But uh, yeah. Thanks, th thanks everybody for coming. Thank you thank for you. the new follows. I uh, hope you had a good time. And thank you, Mina, for uh, coming with me while I play this game. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah. It's been a have good a time. Good night, guys. It's been a good time. Uh, and I will see you all eventually. I don't know what I'm doing next week. <laughs> 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 good night. Yes. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hope we had a good. Hope you guys had a good time. Uh, time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Mm -hmm. Bye. 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 Good night. Hope you had a good. Uh, able to get some light out of the stream. <laughs>